Well, as oculoplastic surgeons, we not only provide surgical procedures, but also non-invasive procedures. And that's on the cosmetic side. Botox, which everybody in this world should have heard about by this point in time, and fillers, such as Restylane, Juvederm, and Radiesse. As far as Botox goes, we use that to treat not only cosmetic patients, but also functional problems that patients arise, um, such as blepharospasm, hemifacial spasm. Um, we also treat patients who have uh, certain types of headaches, um, neck pain, and I've even treated patients for hyperhidrosis or excess sweating uh, in their axillary areas, uh, in their forehead. So it can be used um, in a medical sense, but from a cosmetic point, uh, patients come in and they want wrinkles to be eradicated or at least reduced. And typically we treat the areas of the forehead, the area between the eyebrows called the glabellar area, and the crow's feet area. That's the area at the corners of the eyes when you smile. Those chronic lines form because of muscles are hyper contracting and over contracting. And we want to relax the muscles underneath the skin to get those lines to smooth out. And the same thing goes for um, the functional patients who have blepharospasm and hemifacial spasm. It's all a matter of relaxing the muscle, and that's what Botox does. In an injectable form, we reconstitute Botox, which comes freeze-dried into a sterile vial, and we inject that into the patient's muscle area that is over-contracting. And what that does over about a, I would say, three to four day period is it starts to block a certain amount of that muscle from being stimulated. And by doing that, we start to relax the muscle, and over time, that muscle relaxes to the point where the wrinkles relax, as well as the muscular over-contraction in medical conditions relax.